Hi, it's Tristan back with another video. And in this video, we're taking a look at a brand new power adapter, which was just released by Apple. It is the 40 watt dynamic power adapter with 60 watt max. So this apparently has a 60 watt boost to it on some Apple devices. So the, that's sort of interesting. We're gonna actually um, test what this works with because as of this video on Apple's product description for this power adapter, it says that it only works for iPhones up to or down to 15, not earlier. Um, then it also does not list any iPads at all, but I see no reason that this should not be able to charge iPads. It's got plenty of power to do that. You know, it may not charge at the maximum speed or maximum wattage, but it should do that. So we'll test that. Um, but it also says online that this is compatible with pretty much all Apple watches as well as the Vision Pro, I believe. And again, only down to iPhone 15s, but not earlier. And I have an iPhone 14 Pro here. So we'll test that with this, but let's go ahead and unbox it here. Apple always has great packaging. You see the little uh, arrow there with the tab. You just peel off the tab. And then once you do that, you can typically uh, just open the box and it kind of opens the seal. So this is the box that it comes in, as you can see here. And here's the unit. And then of course you get uh, some paperwork with it as well. And really nice compact unit. Um, this would probably be really good for travel. Um, the one, I guess, complaint I have with it is it only has one USB-C power outlet. It would be kind of nice if it had two, but I think I can understand why they did that. And that's probably so that it doesn't have to share the power. You know, they want to have that boost feature in there. And in order to have the boost, but also have two of them, one of them would probably not, you know, be able to have as much power or something like that in a small package like this. But this is great for travel or just to use at home. It's real compact. Probably one of the smaller Apple power bricks, you know, that I've uh, seen. It has two little indentations on the sides here for where you can grab it. So when it's, when it's plugged in, you can easily grab it like that, which is really nice industrial design. And as you can see, there's no holes in the prongs, the AC prongs, which is not needed in a, you know, power adapter like this. Now, again, as you can see on the product description, it says the 40 watt dynamic power adapter with 60 watt max is uniquely designed to dynamically deliver up to 60 watt of output, providing a powerful boost in charging speeds. With dynamic power, you get many of the same benefits of higher wattage chargers in a compact pocket size form factor to make charging at home, in the office, or on the go faster and more convenient than ever. For fast charging, pair the dynamic power adapter with iPhone 17 models. 50% battery in about 20 minutes, or iPhone Air, 50% battery in about 30 minutes. Compatible with USB enabled devices, charging cable sold separately. So they're saying with the dynamic power, in order to get that fast 50% battery within about 20 minutes, they want you to have the iPhone 17. So I don't know if this is Apple's ploy to just kind of sell you, sell more iPhone 17s or iPhone Airs at this time. And maybe older iPhones will actually charge almost as fast or just as fast? Or is it a matter of the new iPhone models, the iPhone 17 and the iPhone Air, having some kind of special mechanism that takes advantage of this charger better? I'm sure there's gonna be other YouTubers that are going to uh, kind of explore that more in depth and maybe even take this apart and show you what's on the inside and stuff like that. And um, it'll come out later on how well this thing works with other devices that maybe are not listed. But both of my current devices that I have right now are not listed on the supported list, but let's go ahead and try it anyway and see if it works. So now let's see how this does on the iPhone 14 Pro Max. I've got my kilowatt uh, watt meter hooked up to it. And as you can see, so nothing's plugged in now and it's drawing no power. So that's always a good sign. All of the Apple adapters are that way. They don't really have any vampire draw, which is great. So let's plug in the iPhone. Um, my iPhone currently has about 78% charge right now, so it is under 80. And let's just see what it does. So it is charging, as you can see there, it does say charging. And what is the wattage that we're getting on the kilowatt? Hopefully you can see that in the video here. So it's slightly going, slowly going up. It looks like it's kind of intelligently doing something, right? It's ramping up the wattage that it's using to charge the uh, iPhone. So we're up to like six, eight watts now. So I think the whole system, you know, the iPhone included 
is going to sort of determine how much wattage you know it's going to take. I imagine if the iPhone was lower wattage, then maybe this would draw more watts. You know, I'm not really 100% sure how that all works. But you no, know, this does prove that it does charge the older iPhone just fine, even though it's not listed by Apple for this power adapter to be able to charge. It is charging. And um, let's see what the old 20 watt Apple power adapter does in terms of how much wattage it takes. By the way, this also has folded uh, plug prongs, which is really nice. So it makes it really compact to take with you. So this is the older uh, 20 watt AC adapter charger. And this was actually included in some versions of iPhones. They don't include it anymore. But let's see what this does. Under the same situation with the same iPhone and everything, does this give the iPhone 14 Pro more or less power? So as you can see, it's still zero there, right? It's not drawing anything. Now let's plug it into charge. So it is charging. It's ramping up slowly. Let's see if it charges anymore. Now I'm still at about the same percentage, 78 percent charge here. So it's under 80. I mentioned that because as the iPhone gets to 80% and above, it will automatically slow down the charge in order to help preserve the battery and stuff like that. So I think a good test is to be under 80%. So you can see it's uh, the same. It's charging just the same. Not, not much difference. It's pretty much the same. So to me, I really think that the device itself is actually what determines how much power is being drawn. The device itself, the battery management system, the BMS in the device itself, determines how much power it's going to draw from the AC adapter. Now it's, it's the AC adapter's job to actually deliver as much power that it can, right? The amount of power that you get will be limited by the AC adapter if the AC adapter can't deliver that power, right? But so I'm getting like 12 something watts now out of this 20 watt charger uh, into my iPhone. And I think that should be probably about normal. It's actually ramping up even to 13 now, uh, 12 to 13. So um, let's try the dynamic power adapter again and see if it can deliver the same amount. It might take a little while to ramp up here, but let's see what it does. So as this ramps up here, I'll just say that I think the newer iPhones probably have a much better BMS than my older iPhone 14 and are able to draw in the power out of this charger so that when the charge is low, it's gonna draw, you know, a lot of power in, you know, from, from the 40 to, to even 60 watts you know, into it in order to charge it fast. So as you can see here, I'm getting the same amount of wattage of charge that I was getting with uh, the 20 watt ch charger out of the brand new, you know, 40 watt dynamic charger. So I do think that the device, the iPhone itself does play a large part in that and my older iPhone 14 Pro just may not be you know set up or optimized to use the full wattage of the 40 watt dynamic power adapter like new iPhones can um, so that's just my observation it does work and there's no problem with using it with older iPhones but you're not going to get the full charge out of it and it's going to charge slower as you can see it'll charge just as same speed as the with with one of these right so that's my observation there with the new iPhone 17 I think you will get the full power out of this and also down to 15 because like I said on the Apple spec page it does say that this is supported down to the iPhone 15 just not to the 14. So uh, I don't have all the iPhones here to test you know and see but I am pretty confident in this unit being safe for pretty much any you know USB-C device that you throw at it. It's just that you may not get the full power out of it unless you have a device that's more optimized to use this. I've also got my iPad Pro here. Let's check it with the iPad. Now, remember, Apple does not list any iPads being supported with this, but I just think that's an oversight on their part. So yeah, it's charging the iPad just fine. Let me see how many watts it's pulling. Oh wow, so this is pulling 40 watts. So that just goes to show you that, yeah, it's the device that actually will pull the watts. It'll tell the charger how much watts, you know, it actually can re receive. And you can see right here, you know, on the top right here, it is charging. So you can kind of see that it started out at 40 watts, but because I'm over 81% on the iPad Pro, it's actually looks like it's maybe starting to ramp down, which is what it's supposed to do. Because after it hits 80, it's supposed to then charge a little bit slower than normal to help preserve your battery. So looks like that's kind of what it's doing, right? At least as far as I can tell. 
So yeah, it doesn't seem like there's any reason why this charger cannot charge any iPads. And I don't know why that Apple doesn't list them on their site. I think they just probably forgot to list that whole category of products. They don't list this working with any iPads, but as you can see, it is working and it's uh, getting a really good wattage there. So that's working perfectly fine. Again, this is the iPad Pro 12.9 inch. So as you can see, it does work very well with the iPad and it should work with any devices that require this amount of power, yet it's in a really small package. And again, this has been my look of the brand new 40 watt dynamic power adapter. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.